Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flo Joe. So today we're going to be looking at two functions, the first and last functions of Power Automate. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting with an array of Joe, Jax and Meg. And we're also going to be using a string of Flo Joe. So let's look at the collection example first. So we've got our array of Joe, Jax and Meg, which is a names array. And then we're going to pass our names array into our first function. And that's going to return Joe. It's going to return the first object in our array, which is Joe. And then we're going to use last function for our names array. And that's going to return Meg because it returns the last object in our array. Now, this differs slightly for a string. If we have a variable of a name flow Joe and we pass the name variable into the first function, we're going to get a letter of F because it is the first character that is in our string. So unlike the array, it doesn't return the entire object, it returns just the individual character. So then if we move on to our last function and we pass in name, we'll get E, because it's the last of Flow Joe. So let's actually take a look at this on Power Automate then. Okay, so we are on Power Automate, and as you can see, I've got a manual trigger. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating the names array as we discussed about before, where we've got Joe, Jax, and Meg. And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the first function just to pass that names array in, and then we'll see what we get back, as well as I'm going to be using the last function to pass the names array in. As well as that, I'm going to be creating a string of flow Joe, and then I'm going to be passing the name string into the first function, and I'll be doing the same with the last function. So let's actually see how this reacts. Let me just run the flow. Okay, so as you can see, our flow ran successfully. We created our array and we created our string. So in the first function array, we get back Joe because it is the first name in the array and we're expecting Meg back in our last function. And there you go, we've got Meg. So in our string, we've got flow Joe. So we're expecting a capital F for our first function. There you go, we've got F there. And then in flow Joe, we are expecting a lowercase e and as you can see there, we've got the lowercase e. And that is how you use the first and last functions in Power Automate with both collections and strings. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.